love. We are the Craftcaster Girls. I'm Haley. And I'm Kristen. And today I picked our first project. We're so happy to have you with us for this. It's very exciting. Today we are doing a dough cornucopia. Da -da. Yeah, and this is something that is perfect for Thanksgiving, of course. Yes. You know what a cornucopia is, right? Of course. Yeah, it's like that uh, cone-shaped thing that you put stuff in. Yeah, yeah. Apparently they used that back in the day. Way back the original when. first Thanksgiving dinner. So we have kind of two twists to it. We're going to do the traditional one where we're making it out of dough, obviously. And then we're going to fill it with fruit and all the normal things that you would see in a cornucopia. And, and I'm going to fill it with candy so yes, that you can use this for Thanksgiving. And kids would love this, or you know, use it for Christmas, stuff it with candy, or next Halloween when you've got leftover candy if your kids mm -hmm. haven't eaten it yet. Yeah, yours already sounds like it's gonna be more fun, but <laughs> you can do really whatever you want with this. But what you're going to need to make the dough cornucopia is three cans of either pizza crust dough or French bread dough. So yeah. I'm doing pizza crust. I'm doing French bread. So we're gonna see how that goes and which one works out a little better. We need a rolling pin. You're gonna need some foil. Yeah, this is important. You'll need the foils because we're gonna start by wrapping a water bottle up in foil to kind of make that cornucopia shape. Exactly. Yeah. So we are using a medium sized water bottle and then we're going to have a few cans of this. So it kind of depends on the size of your water bottle, how much dough that you'll need. So we've we're using... tried a small water bottle and we don't like it as right. much because we feel like it's not quite as wide mm -hmm. as we want it to be. So we're hoping this will be better. So this is a medium size. So we're going to use four cans of dough. So we're going to start with this step. And by the way, I do want to give some credit to the blogger who posted this on Pinterest where I found it. This is from Jesse Jane and she is at lilyshop.com and hers looks amazing. Yeah, she's on obviously her fabulous. So yeah. hopefully we can uh, do you do her proud. Yes. <laughs> I feel like mine is pretty sturdy. Yeah. So what we're gonna do now is I'm kind of spreading out the top of it because I really want that to be open and nice. And then you're just gonna crunch down the top so that this is a nice thick opening. Okay. okay. Now we're gonna set this aside. Okay. So we'll put it over here. Ready? And we need our dough. So in here, we already have some dough getting warmed up because if you just take it out of the fridge, believe me, it's not gonna be that easy for you. So before you uh, get everything set up, just take your dough out. It's gonna make it a lot easier. But I am gonna add this fourth one. And this is just the Pillsbury Artisan mm -hmm. Pizza Crust. It was about $3.99. And this is really a pretty inexpensive project, I think, for both of these. Okay. We spent about $40. Yeah, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah. And I'm going to stick with my three rolls of the French bread that I have. And so let's see what the difference is. Okay. Let's see if we need three or maybe we need four. Yeah, sounds we'll be good. good to test it out a little bit. So we're going to use a little flour to roll this out. And we'll see. Oh, it's easy how it to work with. <laughs> Yeah, much it's, easier to work with when it's warmed up a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> just right out of the fridge. So you want to roll out your dough into a rectangle, and you want to get it pretty thin. So we're just going to keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? I am going to be spending time with my family, which nice. uh, being a broadcaster and being in the news business for five years, I don't even remember the last time I had Thanksgiving no. off. We always work holidays. I'm working Thanksgiving. Yeah. I'm working the day after, but then I'm going to go down to Tucson oh. on the weekend and see my mom. Nice. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to have any time for Black Friday shopping? Uh, I want to. I have my eye on an iPad from Target. For yourself, um, right? For myself. Okay. Now, this is what always happens to me. I swear there's something about Still. Black Friday shopping where I just don't buy things for other people no, on that day. No, no, That's no. That's when I'm I like, oh, either. I can get that That's Cyber Monday. You know why? Oh, yeah. yeah. And for me, it's like I'm okay spending as much money as I need to, you know, justifiably on other people. But for me, I'm Is like, it really justifiable, though? <laughs> Do we Are we really justifying our purchases? A lot of them are just like, oh, my well, gosh, I really for, need when this When they're for food. other people, I, I love to, yeah. you know, kind of go all out. But for myself, I'm like, it better be on sale. <laughs> yeah. You know? Well, I'm excited to be doing this because I'm hoping that we'll be able to find some neat crafts this season that we can make some things for right. other people. Right, exactly. For the yeah. I have some ideas. I know you do yeah, too. Yeah, I do. And they're pretty quick too. Our yeah. ideas coming up next month so that you can bring something cute to the holiday party, maybe to the host or hostess yes. of a party. Yes. Because yes. that's always nice. You know, we're kind of at that age now in our late 20s where. You can't just show up to nope. a party anymore without nope. something. Nope. <laughs> or you can't just hope mom and dad took care of that for you. You actually have yeah. to go out. <laughs> yeah. 
Do you send out Christmas cards? Ah, uh, you know what? I don't. That's kind of my thing. I love Is sending it? out. I just I love getting them. I just think it's so sweet. I'm. This is not perfect, but I think I'm pretty good. So I'm gonna start slicing here, okay. I'm right behind. And you. we're slicing about one inch slices, an inch in width, and just all the way on top to bottom. Yeah. I don't own one of those, which is weird because pizza is my favorite thing in life. You need a pizza slicer. I, I think I have two. <laughs> you can borrow one if you want to. Do you have a pink one? No. I do get a normal one and cover it in glitter. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That'll be our next tutorial. <laughs> you can tell that that French bread dough is just so easy to work so with. So easy. Yeah. I really think that, that is the way to go. I'm going to go okay. ahead and grab my mold. Grab it. And what we want to do is just spray it with some of that non stick cooking spray. So, this is some olive oil. It doesn't really matter as long as you got some sort of non stick. Okay, so we're just going to wrap this. Yeah. Wrap, wrap, so, wrap. just take the strips. I'm going to kind of stretch mine out a little. And I'm going to start at the tail. Okay, so I have a little bit more than an inch, but I'm going to cheat and I'm just going to fold some more of the tin foil down. There you go. Bit. Yeah. I think that'll be fine. I'm losing my dough over here. All right. Haley, what are you thankful for? I, Thanksgiving? Oh my gosh. You so have a lot to be thankful for. I do. I have a great fiance. Yes. I have a wonderful family. New ventures in life, new jobs. Yes. And starting a business and starting our YouTube channel mm -hmm. and. So many, I, this has been a really good year and I'm really looking forward to the yeah. next one. What well, are you thankful for? Um, I'm very thankful for my family, all the people who care about me. Yeah. I'm so thankful for my little puppy. He was an addition to my life so this cute. year. Uh, okay, let me just say, you took your water bottle out. I think that was probably the way to go. And because, I stuck the foil in there. Yeah, you stuck the foil in there because now, guess what? This baby doesn't want to come out. Yeah, I'll I'll get olive oil. Okay. There. You gonna stab it? I am. I'm gonna stab oh it. man, stabbing this water bottle. I'm a little nervous right now. Are you? Why. Yeah. Our first craft casters episode, and one of us loses a finger. <laughs> yeah. If I have to take you to the ER. <laughs> <laughs> and we're good. So now you yeah. need an egg. Oh, we're egg washing now. Yeah. Okay. So get your egg. And you know you're just gonna beat it like you were making scrambled eggs or whatever. And then we're going to do a little egg wash. So you're going to kind of need to paint this egg onto your cornucopia. You know, I'm so concerned about the tail. Uh, I'm less concerned about the tail and more concerned about some of the spots where I can see the tin foil. But you know what? It is our first time doing this all the way through. We've done little parts of it here and there. So we'll just see. We'll see what we see. All right. Okay. So you want your pan? Yeah. This is very exciting. Here, I'll... That looks so good. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I know. I'm nervous. Gotta get your hands okay. a little dirty. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. And in they go. You say that part. part when when I can't say DIY. Come here, buddy. buddy. Mm. So cute. I can't. No. I can't because I'm going to want it all. I have to be careful with Norwegian. You get 10 points for every dollar you spend on December 26th. Don't tell me yes. that. All right, so they are cooled, and it's time to pull the foil out. But to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous about this, and I've already decided I'm not going to pull all of it out. Okay, so I'm just kind of pushing it back in there because I'm going to okay. hide that with all the good stuff. Okay. By the way, I think this turned out really yeah, well. Yeah, I really did. I really like the, the sprigs on there. That yeah. was really cute. Okay, so I think I'm going to put some grapes in here, um, this board, whatever that is. Um, and you want it to look like it's just kind of spilling out there. So I have some little rosemary pieces. I think we're going to push it in there. Yeah, and again, we're just going to shove that in there. A little yeah. piece of tissue paper would look really nice, yeah. especially with the candy. I think that would be adorable. Yeah, you wouldn't really um, see any of that at all. And, and I apologize, so I ate one of your cute. peanut butter cups. Oh, that's, I ate a Kit Kat. <laughs> it's okay. Of course you did. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I think we can just kind of oh, stack these so in here. Cute. Love. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, Your family is going to be so excited when you show up in Tucson. Uh, not only excited, but completely surprised that I would do something like <laughs> this. And it really wasn't that hard. Yeah, so this is cute. Oh, just to so have it adorable. filling out like this. Oh, great. Oh, I love. Uh, you know, for our first project, Kristen, I think we did 
pretty well. I think we did too. This is awesome, Haley, and we hope that you feel inspired and that you can do this. I mean, all in all, it took us, what, an hour? Yeah. With the cooling and everything. Yeah, about 25 minutes total in the oven. Yeah. yeah, and if you prep it ahead of time, it really wasn't that bad. Exactly. It really wasn't. It was fun. It was really fun, and I'm really excited about how well this turned out. Me I too. can't wait to use this for my Thanksgiving feast with my family. Don't forget, we hope that you follow us on Twitter at Craftcasters, on Instagram at The Craftcaster Girls, and find us on Facebook. We want to connect with you. We want to see your ideas and get your feedback on what we're doing. We can't wait to see you back here next Wednesday, and remember... When it comes to your next DIY craft, don't, don't just do it yourself, do, do it, it with us. us. See you then.